feel like my face is a bit ashy if it's if it's ashy i'm so sorry like i can barely see right now because of the lashes <laughs> why is my lash not lashing welcome to this video if you're new to my channel please click the subscribe button and if you're an oldie a returnee <laughs> welcome back it's so good to see you it's been a long long time even my background has changed I even moved like a lot has happened and I'm sorry I'm sorry I've been away in today's video I will be showing you um the products that i am enjoying currently and i'm just gonna walk you through everything while i do my face um just to give you this um pretty simple look yeah uh what else do i have to say <laughs> so if you want to see how i achieve this look do stay tuned okay, so i'm gonna draw my brows off camera um, and then I just got this uh, tiny tip crease size. This is better because I am using natural lights together with um, my ring lights. This is what it looks like. It's very, 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 very tiny. It's like my king pen. It's my favorite because I know that I'm going to like it. Um, and then I'm also going to be using the normal LA Girl um, Pro Conceal uh, Concealer um, in the shade Fawn. So that's what I'm going to be doing, um, using to, to draw my brows. And then um, I will just continue with the whole narration um, when I'm done. So I start with the Collagen Gold Facial Mist from Isabella Garcia. I use it to protect my skin under the makeup and it also gives me that youthful glow. Then I go in with the primer from Maybelline to erase pores and prep my skin for the other products that I'm about to use. Then I go in with the orange color corrector from LA Girl on the darker areas of my face which is my under eyes, um, the corners of my nose and the corners of my mouth. Then I blend, 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 um, which is very important. <laughs> um, I really go in with the beauty blender and I just blend, blend, blend. Then I use my normal concealer right after the color corrector just for better coverage. So I just use it um, at the same um, places that I used the orange color corrector. As you can see my favorite palette is broken so while I wait for the new one I'll be using the full of grace palette that I got from small street this is what it looks like inside um, so I'm gonna use that together with the I love color intensifying eyeshadow base from essence cosmetics so the camera keeps focusing on my fingers instead of focusing on my eyelid. I'm so sorry about that. Um, so the first step is applying the base, the base upwards and using my fingers to blend it out. Mm -hmm. 
So before we continue, I'd like for you to pretend that I'm using the broken palette. I'll put up a picture of the colors that I um, would normally use, even though this look right here will end up coming out looking like it's a bit pinkish. Okay, cool. So now we're going to start with the transition color, which is called the Stroke of Midnight. It's a light brown color. I just pack the color before I blend upwards in the circular motion. So it's important to make sure that you blend properly and make sure that you can't see where the color starts or ends. And then I go in with TikTok, which is a dark brown color, just to define my crease. I really hate that I don't have a lot of eye space, so there's not much to work on. So we just pack the color and then we blend, blend, blend like we've been doing. So to cut my crease, I apply a bit of eyeshadow base on the middle edge of my eye and look up so that a bit can transfer to the top and then I'll just use that to cut my crease. So I keep pushing the eyeshadow base up so that the combos can communicate and then I just blend with a flat brush then I go in with resolutions which is a shimmery brown color. Lastly, I blend everything together just to get a seamless look. So I add a bit of color here and there. Um, if I feel like condition dye, I just go back there until I feel like I am satisfied with my eyes. I forgot to show you my foundation. So this is the Revlon Candid Foundation in the shade 500. Um, so I use a damp beauty blender to blend the foundation. If you've watched my previous video, you'll know that I use a damp beauty blender because it does a better job than a dry one. So I blend, blend, blend till I'm satisfied. Then I go in with my concealer. So I just conceal the areas that I concealed in the very beginning, um, which is my under eyes, the corners of my nose, I think, yes, and the corners of my um, mouth. Then this time I just add my chin and my forehead and my nose. So it's very important to blend, blend, blend. You really don't want to be fixing your makeup when everything is done. So please make sure that you blend properly. Side note, um, I really am bothered by, by my brows. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like they're too thick, they're too big. Um, but then I just use the same beauty blender that I used for my foundation so that I don't look too ashy. Then I use the Miss Design Matte Liquid Foundation to darken the edges of my face. I just dab, dab, dab on a beauty blender and not directly on my face. I don't think I'm contouring. I'm just adding a bit of color to my... Uh, 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 color. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Ah, that twang. I'm just adding a bit of color to my face. Contouring gives me anxiety, okay? <laughs> I 
Then I use the beauty blender that I used for my foundation and concealer. So I keep alternating until I am satisfied with my face. Then I go in with the Lasting Fix Loose Setting Powder from Maybelline. I just use a bit on concealed areas and maybe on my entire face. Then I use my little Color Pro palette from Isabella Garcia to contour and highlight my nose and underbrows. Then I use the fifth Wonder Mascara from Isabella Garcia for my non-existent lashes. Then I apply my favorite lashes so far. I got them from Small Street for Cheap Cheap. They look like those expensive fluffy neck lashes that I like. Then I use the Rimmel Kate Blush Palette. Then I set everything with the Lasting Fix Setting Spray from Maybelline and go in with the lip gloss from Isabella Garcia. Let me tell you, I really believe in this honey, okay? So that was it. Um, we are done. I'm actually very happy with this look. Very happy. I haven't I haven't looked this good in a while, child. <laughs> so if you really enjoyed the video, um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please do like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. It will really help me out. Um, and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Why is the outro so short? Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope um, you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.